Hey, all you viewers to play later. How we doing today? I know I've got one of the strangest ones ever, ever, ever on my channel. So it's Tuesday, what, uh, the 18th of July. So on the 16th of July, no, 15th of July, I went to my local gaming store, Docking Bay 93, and I was able to score <laughs> the data cards. That's right. Warhammer 10th edition data cards are here. All right. Thankfully, I was able to get there early enough. Either the stock just went out, they just got it in. I was able to grab one for all the factions that I play. So, of course, I need Space Marines because that's the whole codex right there. You know, the Space Marine codex isn't out. And I'll be honest with you, like I said before, in a Age of Sigmar unboxing, when I was talking about their War Scrolls, if the data cards were going to be as cool as the War Scrolls, I had to have them. So I got all three. So I got my Space Marines, I got my Space Wolves, and I got my Adaptus Custodes. So I'm going to show you one of them because there is, and especially the price you pay for the Marines, that's 25 bucks for that. You get an awful, 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 awful lot of data cards for that price. I do like the fact on the front you have the Space Marine logo, so I thought that was really, really cool. You got the Space Wolves. And you have the custodes. Okay, seeing how it's the smallest one, I'm going to open up. Well, they're already open. I've gone through them and had fun. <clears throat> I'm going to open up the custodes. Well, before I get too much further, let's pause and get some adulting out of the way. Okay, seriously, let's, let's get the adulting out of the way. So we're going to pause for a word about our unofficial sponsor. Well, hey, all you viewers, to be named later, how are we doing today? That's right, Copper Johns is back. He is back, 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 and he's even told me, dude, just let me know when I'm not going to be the unofficial sponsor. Just keep us rolling over. So I think that's really, really cool. But the big reason he is a great unofficial sponsor is, come on, man, you've gone to a gaming store and you're like, ah, oh, let's roll. Oh, my God, the girlfriend's coming in with me. And it's like everybody has Nurgle's rot. The stench with some gamers is ungodly. Copper John's got you fixed up. They've got stuff for your beard. They've got stuff for your hair. They've got stuff for your body. They've got stuff for that beautiful woman who is with you. Or, y you know what I mean. I never know what to say nowadays, but your beautiful better half. Check them out. There's going to be a link down below, and there's also going to be a discount code moving forward. It's my good friend's code. I don't make a penny off it. Don't want a penny off it. Won't take a penny from them. I just asked him if we could use his affiliate code over here on the channel, and he was good enough. So like I said, check him out. They've got something for everyone, and let's help defeat Nurgle's Rot. Seriously, great company, great man, great products. Give them a look. Give them a look. Yeah, look see. Now, like I said, I'm filming this video on July 18th, 2023. <sighs> 13 bucks for the Custodes, 13 for the Space Wolves, and 25 I believe, for... The big, huge, honking space marine one. So, I'm going to leave links down below for all of them, okay? So, that's not a bad price to basically have your whole codex right in your hand. Now, before anybody starts going ape shit, look, I know there's already a rata on the space marine, well, space wolf cards and space marine cards. It's going to happen, okay? No offense, I love GW. I, I've been a fan of them basically for a couple decades now. There's going to be problems whenever you roll out a brand new product for anything, for any company, for any whatever. How many auto manufacturers have roll, you know, rollbacks and callbacks and everything else? So if it's just something small as correcting a toughness or adding a leader to like a, a captain card, that's no big deal. Especially seeing how everybody loves Space Marines, they're the first ones out, they want to get them out. I knew there was going to be problems. I, I just, I knew there was going to be problems. So, I wanted them. That's the size of your cards. It's a little bit bigger, I think, than the War Scroll cards from Age of Sigmar. I may be wrong. I don't have them with me right now to put side by side. But still. I do like the fact on all of them, you've got that big, just beautiful piece of artwork. So, you've got, you know, your wonderful stuff right here with the Shield Host. You know, your enhancements, your stratagems. The fact that they're two-sided, you know, stratagems, detachment roll, uh, army roll. Okay, I, I, I do like that. I do like the fact your whole codex is right here in these cards, which I think is great. Now, the other thing I thought was cool was, okay, so we're just going to pull it up like the Custodian Guard card. 
you've got all your stats, all your weapon stats, all your keywords, which I really think in ninth they got bloated with keywords. So I'm glad they shrunk some things down, which I thought was cool. Uh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? There was something on here I really, really wanted to point out. Uh, okay. They've got like the unit composition. They've got the special other rules there on the back. I just, I like how they did that. You know, you've got it right there with you. So as far as I know, <clears throat> and I may be wrong, you don't need three cards to field three units. If you do, that's going to get kind of spendy. So, yeah. Now, yeah, where else are you? Sorry, I want to pull up one of the leaders. Ah, here we go. Let's, let's just go with the map. You know, trade on. I, I, I like the fact that it's just like everything else. It's like the picture from the old Codex, you know, the picture of the heavy metal team. And it's just the way they did these things. I think they're flawless in certain ways. I think they're great. Um, I'm really looking forward to when the Forge World stuff comes out. Because I, I'll be honest. There's, there's some stuff from Forge World that they've produced that I would seriously like to get my hands on. But I don't have the Forge World books. And now they're seriously outdated. I do have the downloaded sheet. Well, downloaded data cards. And which, by the way, you can go to Warhammer Community and download all these for free. You just got to print them out. I like the fact that they gave you the core rules for free. They give you the data cards for free. And even some of the missions for free. When's the last time G-Dub gave away a lot of free stuff like that, you know? It just makes me go, wow. But I will pull this up with the Space Wolves. Because this, this took me by surprise. And I also know that there's going to be some brand new great miniatures on the way. Like with the Battle of Agram, whatever, just being wrapped up. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Right there, that photo. It says, Wolfguard Pack Leader, and it gives you a stock photo. Not the miniature photo. If it's a current miniature in existence, like the Storm Wolf, there you go, you've got the photo. So you know there's a bunch of new miniatures on the way. Which is like a big duh, because 10th edition. It just rolled out. When is the last time GW rolled out a edition and did not create brand new models? When's the last time they brought out a codex for anybody and didn't have brand new models? So for that, I can't wait. I can't wait to see what they come up with. I can't wait to see what the new news is going to be. I, I got to tell you, for the first time in a very long time, I'm excited for an edition of Warhammer 40K. This makes things so much simpler. It really does. Because if you started in second like I did, you basically needed a, a, you know an army rucksack full of books, full of you know data sheets and full of everything else and full of you know addendums and uh, you were packing a library just to go to your local gaming store and game. This takes that away. I know, I know, Arata. What's to stop you from taking a Sharpie and just writing it on your card? It's your card. Do what you want with it. I'm going to go through in a little bit and check the errata and make the corrections to the cards. I did like the fact in the Space Brains thing, um, you got the Gerdlimon data card. So I thought that was cool. You know, because, well, he's Ultramarines. Of course they're going to put him in with the normal Space Marines. They had the freaking poster boys, the blueberries. But still. We are at the most important part of the video. I know these things are still new. I know I'm kind of fangirling over them because I really like them. When I saw that in Age of Sigmar, I was pissed that they weren't in each individual box. I'll, I'll admit, charge me a dime extra, put the data card in the box. Cover it. Don't... Where is it? You know they do this with all the rules. Well, I should say the instruction books. Basically, there's your data card right there. I don't want that. I want this. That's just me. But like I said, we're at the most important part of the video. I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, and anger. All that fun stuff right down below. Do you have the brand new data cards? How are your feelings about them? I, I really want to know because I think this is a game changer. Just so everybody out there knows now why I'm not paid by Games Workshop, you're always getting my honest and true feelings in every single video that I do. Now, for those of you who dislike these cards, I would like to know why. Please, 
leave me a comment down below because I'm really curious. This is one of the beautiful things about this hobby of ours. We love it. We love the lore. We love the figures. We love painting. A lot of us do. Some of you hate it. I get that. Some of you just want to get like the most incredible world beating, I will crush you on the table army. And others just want to show up, roll dice, and have fun. It's the beautiful part about this hobby. Everybody is welcome. Except you gatekeepers. That's how I feel. Now, if it made you laugh, made you cringe, made you cry, made you do any of that during this video, please hit that big old thumbs up. It's only going to show love and support for the channel, and that is always appreciated. But there we go, guys. My quick kind of look at the new Warhammer 10th Edition data cards. I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you're having a great day today, a safe day today, and Emperor willing, one day I will meet all of you across the tabletop.